Day across southeast Louisiana where dew points are comfortable. Lower 70s right now. It's 88 degrees. We like the lower 90s. It's still hot, but at least we're not dealing with that oppressive humidity. Lots of clouds to begin our day. So mostly cloudy conditions expected through the afternoon. We'll see a little bit of sunshine here and there, but it is going to be a pretty cloudy day. But temperatures again, not too bad. We're looking at mid to upper 80s across the area. 85 in Bell Chase, 88 in Kenner, 86 in Homa, and 83 degrees in Thibodeau. But as we look at the dew point temperatures, notice some areas still rather comfortable. Lakefront, upper 60s. We're looking at mid 60s in Slidell and lower 70s in in Kenner as well as Hammond. So Slidell, again, we're looking at those clouds to continue to increase through the day. 91 degrees, that will be your daytime high, a mix of sunshine and clouds, and I don't expect any shower activity today. And, and speaking of showers, as we take a look at the live radar scan, again, we are dry across the area. So if you're heading out to lunch, we're looking good, where you will find the rain, heavy downpours over the Gulf of Mexico, and that's it. Can't rule out a stray shower or so later on today, but many of us will remain dry. So today will be the last day we'll be dealing with low humidity values, all thanks to that stationary front over the Gulf of Mexico. That same front is expected to dissipate as we head into the weekend, and then we'll begin to get that weak onshore flow, and that's going to allow that moisture return into the atmosphere. So we're looking at dew points once again jumping right back into the mid to upper 70s as we begin to begin the weekend. So it's going to be hot and humid, and then we'll go right back into that summer-like pattern where we'll see the chances for rain will be moderate daily. So scattered showers, quick heavy downpours again beginning tomorrow morning. So as we take a look at the forecast here putting the models into motion notice the time timestamp we're looking at five six o'clock this evening plenty of clouds a few pop-up showers and then tonight we're looking dry under mostly clear skies now tomorrow morning and that same front as it dissipates that's going to allow that weak onshore flow to bring in that moisture into the area so tomorrow morning around 10 11 o'clock a few coastal showers are possible heavy downpours but as we get into the afternoon again we'll see scattered showers in a few spots heavy downpours, especially south of the lake. And then as we head into the later afternoon hours before sunset, we're looking pretty dry under mostly clear skies. Now taking a look at the tropics. Again, the latest update, we're still watching these two waves out in the Atlantic Basin. Again, nothing close to home. The Caribbean looks fine, as well as the Gulf of Mexico. So this is way out in the Atlantic Basin here. The first one has a low chance of development in the next five days, a 20% chance. And notice, again, that yellow spot right there, it is expected to move west and then northwest over the northern Lesser Antilles, but it will be moving into an unfair area so I don't think it will do much but the second area here it has a medium chance of development a 60% chance in the next couple of days or so we may get a tropical depression as early as Sunday even heading into Monday but we're going to continue to watch this one it's trying to organize it has a name or it's called invest 92 L it's moving west at 20 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of 30 miles per hour so again that area is moving into a favorable environment plenty of moisture to help it organize in the other area it'll have dry air working against it so we'll be moving into an unfavorable environment so as we take a look at the tropical climatology again as we move or get closer to the peak period of the season we'll start seeing things getting more active out in the Atlantic Basin. So far, uh, since the begin of, beginning of hurricane season, June 1st, we've had five named storms. The last storm was Elsa, which was our first hurricane of the season. If any of those tropical waves try to organize, the next name on the list is Fred. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So 92 today, notice the coverage for rain, 10%, not much. A few stray showers, again, we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions and hot and humid.